This is another deck where you have to mulligan pretty aggressively. I wonder if I want ley lines in this sideboard. Uh oh, red rocks me? Yep. Red rocks me incoming. Them being on the play is going to be pretty problematic for us. I really don't want to attack or trade away with the pile driver. Because if I trade away with the pile driver, I can't reservoir. This is where this is where being on the draw is so bad. But I don't know if I can afford to take this much damage. Uh yeah. F's in the chat. Well, that's <laughs> This deck is also running like 18 lands. I guess we're dead. Could have drawn gear up for either grid. Not after, but the previous turn I could have. I wonder if Sahili's worth bringing in versus them. I don't know if there's too much of a sideboard to be had. Maybe the rebukes on the play are fine. <sighs> this is too greedy to keep versus their deck. Oh, this might be too slow. I'm going to run out the drum. In case I draw Emery or... Uh, who's it? What's it next turn? Sram. Land next turn would be amazing. Boo you. Boo that. Whoopsies! Also, pro blue, they missed one damage. Because <coughs> the drum is still useful. There's the grid. Oh, they just scooped. Okay. I really want to go turn one Emery, turn two gear up for either grid. Yeah, this is my brew. I think there's definitely still room for improvements, but I do like the grids in the main. And we turn two SRAM, 10 artifacts, grid. We would have to draw th three of our ambers to do that. Or actually, or like have a turn. It's very unlikely. <laughs> it's possible, but yeah, we can go like turn one spring, bloom, uh, spring leaf drum, turn two SRAM, a bunch of zeros, hit two ambers, and then grid. A lot of this format with the, these style of decks is being on the play versus being on the draw. And we were on the draw game one and lost. This is a pretty good hand, though. This is that uh, turn one Emery we were talking about. This is turn two Psy. We did hit another Amber in the graveyard. I could actually play a turn two Reservoir. I 
think I'd rather play Psy into Amber, though. I think that's probably better. Right, well, they, we saw like Crater Makers, and I'm sure they have a Braids. The fodder pass would be good for us. Okay. So we go Reservoir. No, I'm still I still have to worry about an ember cleave. They attack with everything, yeah. Oh boy. Uh, they 100% have cleave. But I guess I just eat all of their other creatures and take whatever 16. That honestly seems fine. Yeah, this is fine. I'm just going to gain two life by blocking with these softers. What do you mean by block with Psy? It's clear they're putting that on the pile driver. Oof, that is a juicy draw. Exile there. And then start going off again. And then next turn Paradoxical is going to win. You can't play lands off the top with Mystic Forge. It, it specifies cast the top card. This is just to gain four life, no other reason. We win this turn, almost certainly. Be very, very hard to lose. Since I have red, isn't Frenzy better than Forge? That's very possible, actually. I haven't thought about playing Forge instead of Frenzy. Or Forge and or Frenzy instead of Forge. That might be worth trying out for sure. Oh, right, right, right. I can't cast things from my hand. Right, right. Yeah, of course. Frenzy is down type a downside. Eh, just your classic. I'm going to keep the double SRAM since I don't really need four lands. Insulates versus removal and like Thoughtseize. Ooh. Oath of I have not played against Oath of Nyssa yet. This could be a uh, cat deck. Or color cat. Or five color cat. Oh, well, maybe not. Oh, you never know. You never know. Blech. Too much SRAMing. I'm gonna Oko my SRAM. Nice. Still, still get mana here. Can add green now with uh. Can add green with uh, the Mox Amber, which is pretty funny. But now I can't run out my mock or my Mystic Forge because of this.
Do I still just play it out? The Mystic Forge? Feels kind of bad, but I can go through a lot of my deck. I think it, I think it might be worth. Yeah, at the very least, it turns into another 3-3. Three, three. This is their Emery, by the way. Uh-oh, they're casting a Planeswalker. Jace, okay. So maybe they are that comp. Maybe they're the Emery Kethis deck. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All right, he just made a food there, so I do get another turn with the Mystic Forge, which is absurd. And we bricked. Another brick. I mean, that's that'll be good next turn, but... Yeah, Bone Saw. Bone saw would have been amazing. <clears throat> What's Oko's price at now? Oh, it actually went down a teeny bit. Like 90 yesterday. I mean, it's still still holding steady at freaking 83, but... There's one Mox Amber in their graveyard. There's the Kethis. Oh, am I dead this turn? No, they can't go off, right? Oh, maybe they can. Well, this is pretty sweet. No, I don't even think they need to get lucky, right? I'm pretty sure they don't even need to get lucky. They can just keep emrying and keep Mox Ambering if they hit enough legendaries which presumably they are, they already have. And then they can just float the Ambers, play out the Teferi and draw a card. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're dead. I don't even, I don't even remember if they've activated their Jace already. I have Tormod's Crypt and some counters, which will be good. Hithing Needle will be okay. Turns off Kethis and Emery and whatnot. <clears throat> yep, now they just Amber enough to get the Teferi. And then to fairy draw a card, GG. Nice. All right, looks like the grids are unnecessary in this matchup. I don't think I need the size here. I'm not sure if I need to fairy. Sai as a win condition. Yeah, it, it like pressures their planeswalkers a little bit, but I don't think it's good enough. I have Reservoir. That's good enough as a win con. It's not hard to find it in our deck when we're going off. What's your list? Well, obviously, but I mean... Maybe the I should probably just be running the PO instead of the uh, Emery. Emery doesn't seem as good versus them. 
<clears throat> this hand needs help. I don't know if this was correct to keep, but... Like, it's got a turn one Emery and it has Spell Pierce and a Crypt, so... Seems like I'm supposed to keep it. But, I mean, I only have one land. I think eggs are too expensive is the only problem. Yeah, this is pretty awkward. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I had a good sideboard card in the form of Crypt, which is why I really kept it, but... Oh, I don't need to blow it up yet. We only have two cards in their hand right now. We can totally Tormod's Crypt them. It's the other one, it's the... Uh... Like scrabbling claws and whatnot that exile themselves, right? I wonder if this is just like bait. Now they're going to start going off. Holy moly, it is raining hard now. <clears throat> oh. oh god, that kills me too, doesn't it? Well, let's GG scoop and go to the next. Well, Idolin is the true Cheerios hoser. Cambal is probably up there, though. Yeah, I've beaten Idolin with uh, Reservoir going. Wizard WD, thanks, buddy. Yeah, again, keep the redundant SRAM. Is Pure still Paladin legal? Double white is still pretty awkward. Uh oh, they're doing the Vanifar. Am I dead next turn? I don't remember. Wait, can I win this turn? Maybe I can win this turn. If I get very lucky, I can win here. I would need to hit a bunch of my artifacts, though. Well, that's a brick. Steady. Steady. <laughs> Steady. Two more. Steady. <laughs> Turn three format confirmed. Steady! <laughs> that was enjoyable. <laughs> Just casually have like four. Four of my zeros on top. Easy. That's so funny. <laughs> I often end up cutting the drums in this. I don't know if that's correct, though. I 
I'm sure there's a way to tutor for SRAM, but it's probably not very good. I never know what to cut. Oh, that's fair. If you're gonna, <coughs> instead of running tutors, why not just run the Joyra instead? That gives you redundancy. Only issue is that, um, um, what you call it? Joyra's four man to cast. I don't know. The Sahili is like a random flex slot. Could be anything. Oh, oh I should have equipped Bone Saw there. Jeez. All right, let's go some more zeros into either grid off the top. That's the game plan. Zeros into grid. Suppose I can't complain. Okay, so the question is, if I equip Bone Saw to SRAM, do they block? So I think what I might just do here is, and the grid stops the combo anyways, I think I'm gonna equip the Bone Saw and attack and see what they do. If they chump, that's fine. If they don't chump, that's also fine. Okay, got him. Why doesn't equipment tap? Well, if they did chump with the elf, then I just passed the turn holding up ping. What was that? A wear tear. Oh, yikes. Yikes. Oh, you're probably right. Oko's better. <clears throat> All right, there's Felly flickering the oath. Felly finds Felly. Chump check. Damn, they bought it. They, th they saw through it. Yep, I'm gonna go get Mystic 4 GOT. We could have a counter though, right? They do not, okay. We might be dead here. Very unlikely though, they need Sahili plus a way to deal with Needle or something. I like that SRAM suited up as actually a relevant creature right now. <laughs> Ooh, that draw. All right, let's exile that first. See what we find. That's good. The Iceman, thank you for the 33 months. Grid on top. We just draw the grid naturally, but I guess, I don't think I wanna pay any life. I might be bouncing my own Mox Amber or something. Or my I guess my Bone Saw. Or Spider Silk Net. Well, they can't cast anything anymore. Okay, I was gonna say, why are they holding priority? Mox doesn't draw a card, it just adds a mana. SRAM only triggers off of the uh, the equipment.
I don't know if I like Mentor enough. The statuary didn't seem good enough. Like, I started running that as uh, like a three of, and then I just eventually shaved it down to zero. Ooh, Elixir of Immortality. Playing against a... Uh... Control deck, probably. That kind of sucked. I'm baiting if I want to just pass here and discard, like, SRAM. I can't cast the Emery, I don't have mana. <clears throat> this is probably not a great matchup. the likelihood they're going to wrath me next turn. I don't actually mind if they censor this. Azorius Charm to draw a card, okay. I've seen people running Hour of Reckoning or whatever it's called. The Ice, the ice Man, did I miss you with the 33-month resub? Thank you, friend. Okay, just a Jace. All right, there's a chance that I win this next turn here. We need to find like another paradoxical or something. Ugh. I'm worried about just running out the reservoir, but I guess I'm going to. I could also just pass and go look for uh, Mystic Forge. I guess this is probably good to play while they're tapped out. Yeah. God, if they have Hour of Reckoning, I just scoop. Zora's Charm? It was played and constructed quite a bit, actually. Why do I feel like they need the land, and I should just put the land by itself? Oh god, here it comes. I'm gonna get Reckon. No, no Reckoning? Okay. I can't get Forge and cast it in the same turn. Let's see if the grid resolves. Kind of close to winning here. Yeah, tail's end. Trying to hit some more zeros. 
keep chaining. Guess we kind of fizzle out there. All right, so they draw three, gain three. Oh, never mind the digging. Time will GP Phoenix be live? I'm not sure covered. There is coverage of it. Yeah, I probably should have played out Emery instead of sacking the last two with Sai. A lot of things went sky high after Pioneer was introduced. A lot of cards that were very, very cheap went up, up, up. Yeah, I have dropped many tickets on building all of these decks the last few days. They do have the hour. God damn it. Ugh. All right. I would draw that now, wouldn't I? Hello, yes, this is, this is Ripperino o'clock. Oh, wait, what? How did I not notice Field of the Dead? Did they just... What on earth? I think I'm going to start getting back uh, equipment to keep cycling. Twelve cards left in my deck. This is fine. Hashtag this is fine. It was not fine. Oh no, Mystic Sanctuary back hour of revelation or something. Broke back. I think we're dead. Yeah, I think we're dead. I don't know if I don't think I can win this game anymore. Pretty sure we can't. Hour of Reckoning, oof, or Revelation, whatever it's called. Wrecks me. <clears throat> Man, every matchup la yesterday I was bringing in the grids. Now every matchup today I'm taking them out. <laughs> Yeah, maybe Elixir for the sideboard would be useful. I played Boggles today. That was a new deck from from yesterday. And then I played updated uh, Ascendancy. And then played the updated Cheerios deck here. I have not tried Copycat yet, no. Give the people the cats. I think I'm going to run out of Psy. That was a good draw.
I want to bounce my own Teferi. I think so. So I am going to run into an hour of Reckoning the way I've played it, though. Maybe that's bad. One, two, three, four, five. Five, six, seven. Eight, nine. Okay. So this way plays around hour. Sorry, hour of revelation, not hour of reckoning. Supreme Verdict gets me anyways, really. No, I haven't seen a single settle yet. Okay, do I want a paradoxical in response? Four, five, six, seven, eight. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Nine. No, I don't have statuary here. That's right, I don't have ten, sucker. They're definitely trying to cast it, too. <laughs> They're trying to cast Hour of Reckoning, or whatever that called. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh... Oh, I'm so stupid. I, I can't rebuke it. I'm so stupid. For some reason, I thought I could rebuke. I'm, I'm the most, I'm the, the biggest idiot in the world. I could have still played around it and just won. I knew they had this. Why did I think this was good enough? I'm so stupid. Right, well, obviously they had to draw the land, but there was no reason to run into it. Like, I played around it the entirety of the game, and then I'm just like, well, nah, let's just do it now. Oh, that was, that was obviously just a terrible play. That was just bad. God damn it. I deserve that. Oh, that's funny. Bad they didn't have veto there too. God, we just lose now. I mean, I was trying to draw that as well, but I didn't need to. I could have just sat on nine like I was and been smart. I just got careless. That was really stupid. Silly me. Silly nummy. Sloppy. Sloppy, sloppy. Oh. 
Oops, didn't mean to pass priority. Uh, I'll scoop to another hour of rev. I deserve to. I mean, in theory, I can still win this game. <laughs> uh, maybe they memory for me. I need to hit paradoxical to win, and they need to not have a counter. And there's no way I can draw a card right now. Yeah, we probably did. Man, I can't believe I killed myself this game. That's so sick. I don't think it's right to Mystic Forge here, is it? Maybe it is. Oh wait, do I even have any more? I don't even have any more Paradoxicals. Maybe I am just dead. Never mind. I think I'm actually dead here. I'm just going to take a look what's in my library. Oh boy. I am dead. <laughs> Oh, I threw that game so hard. That was an easy win. GG's, though. That's my own fault. I played around it for so many turns, and for some reason I thought I could just not play around it. I don't know what I was thinking there. Yeah. The Hardened Scales list? Uh, is it not already up there? It's not a very good list anyways. Damn. <laughs> No lands into six lands in this deck? Yikes. Alright, this is a keep and pray, I guess. Ooh, are we playing against another Hardened Scales Stompy style deck? Yeah. So the issue is here... I'm going to M return one, but then I don't have a red source. Unless I hit like another amber off Emery. But if we can get an early grid versus them, we might just win. Dang, it's already one o'clock almost? Holy moly. I need to start packing. Fine, you got me. I take it. Damn, aggro blossoming defense. Very aggro. No red feels bad, dude. I'm just going to start casting the extra stuff from my graveyard, though. I mean, they didn't have a way to evolve their dudes last turn, so. All right, deck, give me a red source. Red, st red source, and we start going pew pew. Help me! I'm gonna die quick if I don't hit a red or a white source. They didn't level their experiment ones, alright. Okay. Oh man! Grid is so good here, but SRAM starts drawing me cards. I think I gotta have to, I have to SRAM. SRAM will find more mana. I 
I guess I could have technically poked in for one damage there first. Looks like opponent's flooding out pretty bad, though. Three, four, five, six, seven. All right. I mean, if you have uh, Aspect, I die. One Blossoming Defense doesn't kill me, though. <laughs> ah! Guess what they had? Aspect. I don't even think I need the fairies. Ugh. Ah. Maybe it's time to start this deck from scratch and try again, huh? I mean, it's close, but I don't think I keep it. Could go Hellbent turn one if I really wanted to. Oh boy, there go two SRAM. Yeah, you jealous of my turn one? Well, we did stuff. Can't say it was enough. Oh god, the ooze. The ooze. Hell yeah, that draw. All right, machine gun activated. Oh, machine gun down! <laughs> oh, did I take damage for no reason? Oh, you're right, I could have added red. Whoops, 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 whoops. Emery, why can't you do enchantments as well as artifacts? You ready for this, Nan? Nasty Emery, 2 5 Vidge up in your face. There's the Yorvo. <clears throat> yep. Yeah. Oh, them some big boys. Well, I guess we're dead. Guess I lose. All right. We're retiring this deck. It's fun. And when it works, it works. But it's pretty frail. Also, you need to play correctly. <laughs> which I'm incapable of doing. This channel is sponsored by Inked Gaming. Go to inkedgaming.com for awesome playmats, dice bags, and more.